All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we created a database and within the database, we created a user table and within the user table, we created a four different fields, which will take all the data for username, ID, password, and email and put it in our database. So in this video, what I wanted to do was go over steps to how we can connect to our PHP my admin database via the PHP script. What I did for you guys is I created a little simple PHP database connection uh, file that you guys can use. And this does follow a, a very well known method, which is called crude, create, read, update, and delete. So with this particular functions, these functions, you'll be able to create it, meaning you can insert data into your table. You can read it, you can get back it, you can update it, and also you can delete it as well, along with other functionality. So if you wanna download this file, which is called PHP Simple Database Functions, you can just hop on over to my GitHub account and then Follow this path and not to worry, you don't have to remember it. I'll put the link in the description for you so you can just go right to it. So pretty much all you do is just click on this file. And then if you want to, you can just copy the whole thing by selecting it, whatever. Or you can just go back one folder and then click on right here where it says download and you can download the zip folder into your computer. I have already downloaded it for us. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to open this up. And so once it's open, I'm using once again, sublime text for my editor, but you can use as I previously said, notepad or any other one you want. And in here, it has a whole bunch of different functions that we will be using to navigate or rather build our system. So the first thing what we need to do is, let me just make this a little user friendly, I guess. At the top of this file, you will see these four lines, which are the user, I mean, these are all the information that we will need in order for us to connect to the database. For example, what is the host name? Host name could be uh, your my PHP uh, SQL server name or in the database. In this case, in our case, it will be a login system. So what I will do is I'll just copy this and then I will paste it in here as we go. And then the user ID, as we said, it will be Mark2. And the password is my no, admin123. And for the host name, being that I am using X amp on, on my local PC. So in this case, I'll just say local host. But in your case, depending on where your server is, you will put that in there or the IP address of your server or whatever that case might be. And I'll put it in here and that's then I'm going to save it. And that's all we need. So let's walk through this particular file real quick. So the first function we have is DB connect. What this will do is it will connect to our database based on the these uh, defined variables that we have put in here. As you can see, host in here is also host in here. DB name here is DB name there. So whatever is in here is going to transfer over here. And then for this, like I said before, what this will do is this will connect to our database from this function. And then this function, what this will do is this will close the connection. You always want to close the connection after you connect to it. So this is how it works. You open the connection to your database and then you do whatever you want to do. You can insert a record, delete a record, update a record, or whatever you want to do. After you're done with that process, you close the connection. So what that will do is it will save some resources on your server. 
And then this function, which is a clean data, this will help us prevent any SQL in injections. So we'll just run all our data through this function first, just to make sure nobody's trying to hack our website or give us some bad data and stuff like that. So we just run it through this. And then that way, after it's done, it's going to return a clean data, which we can insert it into our database. And this function, which is called clean HTML data, what this will do is it will remove all of the HTML tags for your data. And if you want to do that, you could use this function. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones. But what I will do is I want to, first of all, include this in our PHP. index file so i will open this up so in here i'll just include it at the very top call it php and i'll save it and then what i'll do is just to keep things a little simple I'll just rename it to be just called DB or I'll just call it function DB and I'll just copy this file name and then just put it in here actually now that I'm thinking about it what I'll do is I will create a folder structure for us so as we start to develop this system we will have some sort of organization to our files as compared to everything being on the home directory or this root file or root folder. So I'll just create a few folders in here. I'll call it include and then JS for JavaScript files and then CS for our CSS files. We won't need it. I like to include my anything that's on my include folder at the very top. So I'll just put an underscore on it and then we'll put it at the top. So what I want to do now is I want to put this file in here and then when I'm including it, I'll just say underscore include and then that. So now that we have that, so let's see if we can connect to our database. So I'm going to copy this function. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out so it will show me or put it out there if the connection is made or not. And then what I will do is in here, I'll just call that function. And let's go back to our secure PHP system. And if I refresh it now, I'm hoping if everything works good, I'm going to see a connection in here it says made a connection is successful or something like that. So let's refresh this page and there is nothing there. So let's troubleshoot this. See, first of all, let's see if there is any problem in here. There's no problem here in the console. Okay, I figured out why I wasn't showing them because I forgot to put a little question mark after right here before it was like this i needed to put another question mark in here and these are things small things you will find as you will start to build uh, one small thing will cause your site to come down so just make sure you follow all the proper syntax so now that i added the question mark in here if i go back in here i refresh it as you can see right here it tells me it's connected so now we are connected to our database here and then now we can rock and roll after this so the next step, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let me just uncomment this because I don't need it. I'm going to delete this function because I don't need to know that. I mean, I don't need to connect to a database. I just need to include it here. And I can close this files being that we already connected it. So I'm going to uncomment the connection part because I don't want to have that. And if I go back now, this should be all clean. The whole point is because of this one function file, we are able to connect to our database. And now in the next video, we will start to build our user signup screen, which will include 
the username, password, email, and all that good stuff. So what we'll do first is we will go through the validation process via the JavaScript, and then we will send the user an email saying, hey, click here to confirm your account. After the user clicks on the confirmation email, then we'll come back to our database, update it, and then tell the person, hey, you have or successfully activated your account, now log in. And then after that, person logs in and then your user can download your ebook. And that's all. And we will be doing that in the next several videos. So stay tuned, guys.